Greetings, YouTube viewers. It's Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2013, and uh, today I'm in Edinburgh um, in the snow. As you can see, it's snowing, uh, which is rather Christmassy, although it's supposed to be Easter this coming weekend. And uh, today we're at the statue of Greyfriars Bobby, one of the most famous dogs in the world, or in folklore, or legend, or whatever one might call it. Um, for those people who don't know, and I only know the story from what I've read on Wikipedia, uh, Greyfriars Bobby was a Skye Terrier, um, who was the pet dog of, um, well he's been variously described as the police sergeant in Edinburgh, and the night watchman, a uh, chap called John Gray, I believe he was called. Um, and this dog was his faithful companion. And um, when John Gray died, the dog followed the funeral procession um, and then apparently spent 14 years every day keeping vigil at his master's grave in the Greyfriars churchyard, which is just, I believe, just around the alleyway there. Um, in fact, I'll just walk across and show you that. Uh, apparently for 14 years, uh, day in, day out, the dog loyally kept a vigil at his master's grave and um, and at one point I think he was kind of officially classified as a stray and therefore was vulnerable to being uh, put in the pound or put down um, but apparently the citizens of Edinburgh decided that he was something of a local celebrity and they protected him he was given protection and I think the the mayor or someone paid for his license and then when the dog itself died, I think we're talking about the kind of mid to late uh, 19th century, 1880-something, 1890-something, um, the citizens of Edinburgh, the business citizens, decided to erect this monument in his honour uh, because this was the spot where he kept vigil for so many years. And uh, apparently they paid, the business people clubbed together and paid for this fountain and statue to be installed. And, um, but it's a bit sad at the moment actually because it's supposed to be a fountain but it shows no signs of doing anything. And then down the bottom there you see the traditional Sainsbury's carrier bag and puddle of old water with a Haribo wrapper in it. This kind of thing that happens typically. And it's very, very noisy here. This is one of the busiest streets, I think, in this part of Edinburgh. And as I say, it's snowing. So that's the story of Greyfriars Bobby, the faithful Sky Terrier. Uh, and there's a pub behind there called the Greyfriars Bobby.